Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. September 2021. This is your live boy today and for your live boy today the instruction for you is that you do nothing of yourself. Do nothing of yourself. And we're taking our reading still from the gospel. The Holy Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. John in chapter 8 and today we are starting from the 21st verse. So let's go. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he seeth, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say unto judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them, of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And He that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please Him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Do nothing of yourself. Because Jesus would do nothing of himself. He says that he is the vine and we are the branches. And that if we abide in him, and he in us then will abound to much fruit. And he also says without him we can do nothing. And Paul the apostle complimented that by saying that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So if that be the situation, if that be the foundation, why should you attempt to do anything of yourself? If you are a Christian, that means you are like Christ, then if Christ will do everything only that the Father had instructed him to do or permitted him to do, then you would only be in that image of Christ and be a true Christian if you do only those things that are inspired of the Holy Spirit and that are permitted by God for you to do. And this had always been since the days of old, that anyone that was after the heart of God would always do nothing of himself. And if he ever did anything of himself, there would be consequences 
there will be restitution, there will be damnation, but there will also be restoration if you are after the heart of the Lord. So you already know whom I'm likely to be talking about, the man after the heart of the Lord, who in ordinary terms is called the ancestor of Jesus Christ in the flesh, who came 28 generations, that's about a thousand years before Jesus, and of whom Jesus himself referred in Matthew 22, 44, that he himself acknowledged that Jesus was Lord because Jesus referred us back to Psalm 110 where he said, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit on my right until I make thy enemies your foot too. So we are discussing about David. He was after the heart of the Lord and he always inquired of the Lord in virtually everything that he did. So the same way Jesus, his descendants in the flesh, but is God, his, um, his ancestor and the spirit also operated, always seeking the face of the Lord, always doing the will of the Lord. The same thing David did all throughout his stories. If I, I tried to make some check and after some time I have to stop because I was just getting many more scriptures where you will have David inquired of the Lord. Go to 1 Samuel 22.10. Some inquiries was, was made by David through a prophet. Go to the same 1 Samuel 23, verse 2, verse 4. David inquired of the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 5, verse 19. David inquired of the Lord. 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. David inquired of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 14.10, David inquired of the Lord. 2 Samuel 5.23, David inquired of the Lord. And I can go on and on and on like that as David always inquired of the Lord. No wonder he was after the heart of the Lord. And even when he did certain things that were wrong, those were times that he did not inquire of the Lord. For instance, when he inquired of Joab, his chief of army staff, he decided to number his armies and then fell onto the wrong side of the Lord. So, yes, as uh, a man, although he was after the heart of the Lord, that was an example of him not seeking the face of the Lord and he bought the consequences, you know, of that. There was also a time that he went to sleep with uh, Uriah, uh, Uriah's wife, and got Uriah himself killed. And, you know, that's the story of... Uh, his relationship with Bathsheba, and you know that eventually the first son they had was killed by God himself because he didn't inquire of the Lord. But later, after that restitution, God restored him. It was in that same union that he had Solomon. I'm telling you all this so that you understand that if you have in inquire of the Lord, even if you miss it sometimes because you choose not to inquire of the Lord, by the time God notices that you are after his heart like David was, and that you always inquire of him what you do, especially this dispensation that we are in, that we rely on the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to teach us, and to let us know what we should do in all situations, then you will do nothing of yourself. And as long as you do nothing of yourself, the Lord will back up everything that you do, that the Lord will be in the front, the forefront of anything that you do, as long as you do it through the leading of the Holy Spirit. And it will always be well with you if you do that. Just like Jesus Christ always did when he walked the surface of the earth. And just like David did a thousand years even before Jesus walked the surface of the earth. So for you, do nothing of yourself. As for me, I will do nothing of myself. And I know if you do nothing of yourself and I do nothing of myself, I will rely on the Holy Spirit to guide us and we do the will of the Lord. It will always be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. So if we are talking about the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, it's an exclusive reserve of those who are called by the name of Christ. It's an exclusive reserve of Christians, of those that are born again. But the interesting thing is that there is no difficulty, there is no extraordinary bottleneck that stops you from accessing that name of Jesus too. All you need to do is say this prayer after me if you are ready now to give your life to Jesus. Are you ready? Then say this prayer after me. Say, Lord... I want to do nothing of myself from today. 
because I have been told that it ends well for those that do nothing of themselves but rely on you for counseling and for guidance. Therefore, forgive me of my sinful past, write my story, and let it be that from today I will be called by your name, giving my life completely unto you, Lord Jesus, to be called a Christian from today, and henceforth to do nothing anymore of myself, but that which will be the will of the Lord. Grant this for me, I pray today in Jesus' name. If you have said that prayer, welcome into the kingdom. And I know that by God's grace and by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, from today you will do nothing of yourself anymore, but you will follow the will of the Lord because the Lord will encourage you so to do. So then let's all say this prayer together, whether you've just given your life or you've been part of the kingdom of all along. Just in the bitter, be sure that we will all be inspired to do nothing of ourselves. Say, Lord, Give me the grace to be sensitive to your Holy Spirit so that today and always I will do nothing of myself but do things only as directed by you that it may be well with me that I may do all things by your governance that all things that I do may be righteous in your sight. I pray in Jesus' name. So go out today, nothing of yourself, especially since this is weekend. Do nothing of yourself and it will be well with you in Jesus' name. I joy you faithful I call you faithful I call you good